Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Bonical review, and this one's on uh, what you're looking at, two, but actually three of the Paraka from 2006, of course. So we have like two of the canisters here for that. You kind of see a little bit of the Bonical logo, large Paraka logo, and also a picture of the set that comes within, and Bonical.com, and also the age group, set number, amount of pieces, which were always equaled out at 41 to, and only two for 42 pieces, and then Choking Hazard, Lego logo. And also a little pick of them in the corner with their little nicknames, like in this case for Avak, the trick, the trigger, of course. And then saying, try me there, and also a little bit of their faces on top, and where you can uh, go on top of there, and tap it and see the eyes light up and it's quite cool which is quite cool and also these little spots on there oh, which is where you can uh, display Xamarin spheres on too of course and also quite stackable as well oh, to admit, so they can ship out easy and so on and also easy to store and such and of course, still quite ovular, like we had with the bull rock and such. But of course, this one of the last times I've seen that. But yeah, and then back sides of them <coughs> have another picture of the set that comes within, and also displaying their features and their spines, of course, and also their uh, Kanoka Club uh, points, of which which are no longer valid, of course, and also how the uh, eyes light up and teeth glow in the dark, and uh, for the other five, Paraka and Choking Hazard, Lego Logo, or I mean, and Usual Warnings, things, and of course 2006 Lego Group, and so on, but yeah. And that's it with the casters, and now into one of the booklets, same picture as on the front, you know, and then first page of which is how to take the battery out of the lid part, of course. Advertisement for the Bonacle 3 Web of Shadows movie and uh, Maze of Shadows game on Game Boy Advance, of course. And then ad for Lego Shop at Home and Lego Club. And ad for Bonacle.com and also two of the Titan sets for later in the year, Axon Brutaka, which Brutaka, which upcoming Throwback Thursday, so look forward to that. And then advertisement of all the Paraka with uh, and the map of Voinui and extra Zamar Sphere pack, of course, and all the pieces that come with the set. And then also, like one half of the combination model instructions, and this which last time there ever were combination models for for the sets, of course. Well, until Hero Factory 2.0, of course, and then also how to like fold them up and put them in the canister, of course. At least until the Nika sets as well. But yeah. And so now on to the sets. First up is Hakan, the red one. And of course, like all the other years where it's the uh, same thing, but just different color scheme, different color, different mask piece, different weapon. But in this case, it's just different uh, uh, head and spine kind of parts of it, and also different foot pieces, of course. Like as for the feet, which uh, for hack hands here. Same as a uh, Redak and Vizox there, where it's the three claw toes feet, which they did also make a two toe variant of it with the Shalmatorn in two years later, of course. But also these foot pieces, only time ever reused was on Antroz in the 2008 Fantoka line. And also do you get these uh, socket joint kind of pieces, but in light red, oh, which is great for mocking which the Red Viserac the year prior kind of did. And also the same uh, leg limb pieces that all the Paraka have, but in this case dark red, and then same with the thigh armor pieces and the Viserac limbs from the year prior, but now in dark red. 
Oh, which from the oh yeah from the brown Viserac set of course. Okay, come on. Okay. And then upwards, and of course have the large specific uh, torso piece, which which Paraka first time to ever use this kind of a uh, torso piece. Same with the Anika sets, the following summer wave, of course. But whereas most sets of which have it. They uh, used front or or backwards when they would have it like this, of course. So not sure why that is, but whatever. And then on for for the right arm, which which has this specific style uh, arm piece with a large gap in it to make the flipping weapon to that. Like for hackens here, which is just like pincher, but flip it around. And it's a laser uh, cannon shooter or something. And of course, whereas he and Thaka, which only two to have it, like two pieces to it when the rest are just one piece for them. And then as for the other armor, which which has just a, a metro arm piece for that. And then holding the classic Xamorspherers onto there. And of course, how it built like, and also we got the Xamorspheres that are, were always in green, whereas they always came with four, not just one, in case if you went and lost them at all. So, the word like is press on this end, fires off, of course, and easy to reload, of course. And then, as for the head piece of which, or the head part of which. I see the whole thing is this large rubber spine piece that goes to the arms and also onto the back of which which is all soft rubber pieces of course and then also this one of which that leads down to the lower part forming a tail of course although some say kind of similar to the uh, brain bugs in the uh, hero factory brain attack line of course And then also how this whole thing goes like is you know, take the four rod out and you know, which is the specific headpiece, which most of which kind of similar to that of a Toa Metru's headpiece, but luckily has a lower part with the teeth that glow in the dark, of course. So of course, always cool feature. And just clip down like that, get the rod in. And then, and then on all of which you have this, the uh, eye stock piece that lights up. Oh, unfortunately for my hack in here, it's kind of expired. But and unfortunately, can't uh, change the batteries in them like you can do with the Anika, of course. Well, although one user did make a video of how to do that, but yeah. And so that's it with Hacken. And down to Avak. And again, same build as all the rest of the Paraka, but he which in dark brown and lightish brown or dark tan, of course, fitting to the stone element character as well up to this point until Kuki and Nika that changed it a little later, of course. And then as for his foot pieces, which are just the uh, flattened kind of foot pieces, which he, Thok, and uh, Zaktan all have, but they're in brown, of course, which have two connection or plus rod connection bits to them, which is how they got to be useful on Butaka uh, this year, of course. And of course, some of the usual pieces in brown, uh, which nice for making some brown. Uh, figures, of course, and then upwards do have <coughs> have the uh, main torso piece, but also his uh, body piece and Zamorsphere launcher and weapon in gunmetal gray, which Hackans also was. So, uh, two of which all had similar color schemes, like Thok and Vizok had silver, and Redak and Zaktan had uh, gold, of course. Now, as for his, as for Avok's main weapon here, 
which kind of a saw kind of thing on one side, but flip around and kind of an extra quake blaster or something. I don't know which is kind of interesting. And also quite short for how it is, but whatever. And as for his uh, head and spine here, which like quite wide for that. Trying to make it like the short stop one, which some of the stone elemented characters attend to be. And, uh, and also the uh, light up feature. Yes, mine still working. So at least get to see that here, of course. And as for his spine of which, which are just quite small, uh, pointing bits to it, but ones that go in opposite directions. Kind, kind of interesting how that is. And of course, kind of keeping the short theme with the stone guys for that. But yeah. And that's about it with Avok here. And last of which, oh, whoops, is Thok. Which, as you can see, same build as all the rest of the Paraka and most of the gears until the Toanaika, of course. But however, it's the white ice one, and also like most, and also like the most white ice characters, also have the secondary color of bright blue, which is how they go with all the ice characters of Bionicle, of course. And the feet, which same as Avak and Zach Tans, but in this uh, odd white color. Well, kind of a deepish uh, eggshell white color. Not sure why that is, but whatever. And the limb pieces and armor in white as well, and also plenty of bright blue as well. Then the torso piece just in silver, like uh, like Vizox, of course. And then for his arm, which, which as he has ice blaster with the tube underneath it, kind of a bit like a uh, Preston Stormers, well, 1.0 from Hero Factory Wave One, of course. And to the flipping feature is flip it over and have kind of an ice pick, at which well, top part which which looks almost like one bit of a light stave. Kind of interesting how that is, but yeah. And as for his um, uh, head spine bit with the large chin there and also this pointy bit to it and and also and like uh, Hakan and Vizox which and yeah those two is kind of goes have long spine bits that go all the way downwards and then leading to a tail like the rest of course. I guess that is about it with Thok here. Let me get them all together. Oh, okay. Okay, so now on to the final verdict. Overall, I think these are which are quite good sets, like one of the kind of kind of neaters villain sets. Well, until the Baraki and Brotherhood Makuda, the following two years as well. Even though they may have been like uh, clone copy sets, like most of the years, of course. But at least they were starting to trend away from that with at this point. Like, well, obviously, do get a few good recolors a piece on both Hakan and Thok, which. And they wish only two to have two pieces for their main weapon part when the rest of them had just one piece there. And of course, Avak last set to have any brown parts to them. Well, until uh, Pohatu in Gen Generation 2, of course. As well. And of course, 
at least he kind of kept up with traditions of the stone elemented characters, but yeah. And also, as for the uh, nine, eight to nine dollars that they were back in 2006, still quite good, which, although for inflation, probably like uh, uh, 11 to 13 dollars for us today, but although still kind of fair on how that is, but yeah. And also last sets to feature combiner models, of course. Uh, so they which were kind of a turning point of Monocle as well, but yeah. <clears throat> and also they which still kind of a sign of the times, like for their light up eyes and glow in the dark teeth of which which nice little bonus for that, but yeah. And also kind of unique characters in the storyline, unlike where they were just scavenger thugs taking over Voyanui, unlike the Rakshi, which were just servants to Makuda and all, but yeah. And so now, if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who are still looking to get these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Bricari, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.